In this video, we're going to be giving you an update about Larissa and all of her recent fallouts and clashes. Oh boy, from former BFF Carmen to arch nemesis turned best friend then back to enemies again, Jess. And she's even falling out with co-stars and her on and off boyfriend, Eric. There really is no stopping the fiery Brazilian. She's gone all guns blazing against, well, just about everybody. So last we saw Larissa and Jess on our screens, the two were buddy-buddy. Both had moved on from Colt. Larissa was happy to show off her plastic surgery and seemed to be in a happy relationship with her boyfriend Eric. Meanwhile, Jess had a new hunk on her arm, her husband Brian Hanvey. And fittingly enough, in an ultimate F you to Colt, Jess had actually met Brian through Larissa when Larissa had starred in Brian's music video. Now, we've got a video all about Jess and Brian, so I'm not going to go into the details here, but if you're interested in that, the link to that video will be in the description below. But here's the thing, you'd have thought that Larissa and Jess would have become lifelong friends after everything that they've been through, but not so fast. Larissa's recent IG story suggests that she's cut ties with both Jess and Carmen. We'll come back to the Carmen fallout in a bit, but let's focus on the Jess drama first. So, the rumours of a falling out were sparked when a fan messaged Larissa during a live Instagram Q&A asking if she still keeps in contact with Jess, and Larissa replied with a short, sharp NO. And we didn't have to wait too long to find out the extent of the falling out, because shortly after, Larissa took to her Instagram stories to lay out her grievances against Jess. In one IG story, Larissa says that Jess quote, bailed on picking her up from her latest plastic surgery after she had promised to do so. Yes, I asked many, many, many times. I say how much was important. And if she bailed, I will not do the surgery or I need to ask Eric. You see, before going into surgery, Larissa apparently called up Jess and asked for a ride home following her procedure. She explained to Jess that her boyfriend Eric doesn't have a car. So Jess promised her that she'd be there for her, and Larissa went into the surgery confident that she'd get a ride home afterwards. However, once the surgery ended, Jess was nowhere in sight. After trying and failing to call Jess, Larissa was forced to call Eric to pick her up. Again, Eric didn't have a car, so how he picked her up is anyone's guess. Uber? Borrowed a bike from a neighbour? I don't know, but Larissa never actually elaborated on that. But boy, was she mad at Jess. The plot thickened even further when Larissa posted a warning to Jess on IG demanding that she, quote, delete my photos that I took with you for the OnlyFans and that, quote, shit is going to get dirty on both sides. She also accused Jess of using her name to make money and boost her own social media presence and stated that, quote, it's a bad feeling when you come to the realisation that a friendship you thought you had was one-sided. And it seemed that Larissa's angry Instagram posts worked because Jess deleted the offending pictures. After a few days, Larissa posted an update to say, quote, guys, picture deleted, problem solved. But listen, there's two sides to every story, right? What does Jess have to say about it all? <laughs> well, not too much, actually. In an interview with In Touch Weekly, Jess stated, quote, Honestly, there is no feud. Larissa is fighting alone. Me and some other friends are concerned for her well-being. I am at peace and have no interest in getting into this, as it doesn't resonate with me and the type of person I want to be. I'm heartbroken she is pushing everyone away, but ultimately, that is her choice. And so, although it seems from that quote that Jess is willing to try and put things to bed and let the drama die, Larissa just couldn't resist a parting shot. In yet another Instagram story, she wrote about not falling for, quote, fake body positivity posts from people who are only in it for fame and money. And while she didn't name drop anyone, it's pretty clear that this was aimed at Jess, who has recently been very vocal about embracing her curvy body, as well as the importance of body positivity. And it seems that that's really a way of just promoting her own OnlyFans. And Vanessa Guerra, you know, the lady that both Jess and Larissa accused Colt of cheating on them with, the lady that both of them were non-stop bashing on the show and on social media, she also made a notable appearance in Larissa's story. 
in what might be the biggest U-turn of all time, Larissa stated that, quote, she regrets every bad thing she said about Vanessa. And I don't really get it. I mean, I'm not quite sure what's caused this sudden change in stance towards Vanessa. Liar! Liar! Crocodile girl! She was not sentient. This is you, ugly <laughs> Maybe, and hear me out here, maybe this is Larissa dropping a hint that all of her animosity towards Vanessa was just her fighting Jess's battles. I don't know, is that how you see it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Can you imagine if Vanessa and Larissa became friends? How awkward would that be? Can you imagine Colty's face? That's one 90 day spin-off I'd actually love to see. Anyway, for the time being at least, it seems that Jess and Larissa's friendship is truly over. But that's not all. Remember how in her statement Jess mentioned, quote, me and some other friends are concerned for her well-being? Well, who are those other friends that Jess was talking about? Well, it seems one of them is Carmen, Larissa's ex-roommate. As you no doubt remember, during Larissa's stormy relationship with Colt, Carmen was her rock. She was the one who gave Larissa a place to stay when she needed it. She was the one who bailed Larissa out from jail. To all intents and purposes, Carmen was the lady who looked after Larissa and helped her get back on her feet after the divorce with Colt, and even after her first breakup with Eric. So given how close they were, it comes as a real surprise that Larissa is now attacking Carmen too. I told you, this lady is on the warpath. She's not messing about. She is livid. So what's the issue with Carmen? Well, it seems to stem from the fact that Carmen was the one to break the news that Larissa had been detained by ICE. That's the Immigration and Customs Enforcement. Now, we'll get to the topic of Larissa's immigration and what's happened since I last spoke to you about that in a second, because there's been some really interesting developments on that front too. But yeah, going back to Carmen, Larissa was not happy at all that Carmen was the one to break that news. And there seems to be more to the story. You see, Larissa revealed to her friend and blogger John Yates that Carmen's kindness was, quote, all for show. She stated that whenever they'd talk, Carmen would, quote, always ask for shout outs on social media to presumably try and gain more followers and that Carmen never really cared for Larissa's well-being. For example, she claims that after yet another of her plastic surgeries, she messaged Carmen to ask why Carmen hadn't wished her good luck before going under the knife. And Larissa didn't like the reply that she got back from Carmen, who apparently said, quote, why should I wish you good luck? Now, I'm not sure whether that was the same surgery where Jess bailed on Larissa, but if it was, that might totally explain why Larissa went down the warpath. Imagine getting surgery then being left high and dry by two people that you thought you could trust. And look, I know a lot of fans have had their suspicions about Carmen for a long time. You can find lots of posts like this on Reddit that call out Carmen for having a quote saviour complex and trying to court the limelight. So I don't know, I'm not quite sure where the truth lies. There's absolutely no doubt in my mind that Carmen did help Larissa when she needed her. But maybe, as Larissa is implying, she did so with an ulterior motive for clout and fame for herself. What do you think? Did Carmen actually have Larissa's best interests at heart? Or was she just trying to benefit off of Larissa's stardom? I'm keen to hear your thoughts on that one. Anyway, going back to Larissa's deportation, at the time that she was picked up by ICE, Larissa blamed TLC for her detention, claiming that the timing was just too suspect. After all, she'd just been sacked from the show for being an adult actress on Cam Soda, as well as OnlyFans. And so at the time, things actually looked really hairy for her. It looked like she might be about to get kicked out of the States, which is where her relationship with Eric becomes really interesting. Now, Eric and Larissa's romance, or should I say lack of romance and bedroom action, has been very stop and start. But the pair did move to Colorado together. In fact, Larissa was detained by ICE on the day of their big move as they were preparing to drive from Las Vegas to Colorado. 
And following that arrest, there was a lot of speculation that Eric and Larissa had actually got engaged as a way of trying to get Larissa her green card, kind of similar to what Jess and Brian did. Anyway, the most recent development there is that the powers that be have apparently decided that Larissa should now be allowed to stay in the United States, and she has won her immigration battle. Larissa actually didn't go into too much detail, but she posted an Instagram story with the caption, quote, a immigration miracle just happened. Thank you, God. And this was followed up by a post from Eric stating, quote, congratulations on your immigration hearing, doll. So reading between the lines, it looks like Larissa has won a fairly major immigration hearing of some sort, which leads us to suspect she's here to stay. What's also quite interesting is that it seemed to have nothing to do with Eric or any potential engagement because before that announcement, Larissa and Eric had actually broken up again. She deleted all of Eric's photos from her IG, unfollowed him and in a final twist of the knife, remember Larissa is on the warpath at the moment, she posted that she, quote, regretted moving to Colorado and that she didn't want to marry Eric. <laughs> and Eric made it clear too that he was back on the market when he posted a shirtless selfie on IG with the caption, quote, reach me on OnlyFans, single and ready to mingle. But wait, it gets a little bit more murky and complicated. After all, this is 90 Day Fiance. And there's always one last twist in the relationship story. So as of January 2021, it seems like Larissa and Eric are back together again. Larissa revealed that although Eric, quote, isn't perfect, he is one of only two people that she can rely on and trust, the other being a lady called Julia, who we don't know too much about. And that because of that, Larissa was never going to find someone like Eric again who would stay with her and accept her for who she is. So Eric has relocated again, back from Colorado, back to Las Vegas, where he'd first moved from, to be with Larissa once again, and he's been caring for her since her surgery. Now again, a bit like with Carmen, a lot of fans are super suspicious about Eric's motives, including John Yates. Kathy Bates helped uh, the guy in misery, but that didn't turn out so great, just saying. Maybe it's a cynic in me talking, but I suspect there's more twists and turns in the Larissa and Eric relationship still to come. As for now, Larissa continues to earn a reported $40,000 a month from her OnlyFans, and she's donating all of her cameo earnings to charity. What's more, she's also revealed that she's about to start her own YouTube channel as well as a Twitch channel soon too. Twitch, I hear you say? What could Larissa possibly be about to play and livestream? Well, the game Bloodborne. Now, I don't know about you, but a bloody hack and slash game full of drama and plot twists sounds absolutely perfect for Larissa. Don't you think? Listen, if you've made it this far to the end of the video, do me a favor, take just two seconds to hit that like button to show your support. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel to stay up to date with all of my latest videos. It's a pretty safe bet that there's going to be another Larissa explosive update some point soon. And you wouldn't want to miss that, would you? Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.